sort of adopt our um, little neighbor boy. He's Which two years old. This is going to be dark cluster, honey. I don't know, though. Charles left him an Easter basket. And then Easter baskets that you buy already made up, hardly any of them have candy anymore. They always have these toys, you know? Well, guess what? He, he got her water guns. I said, Charles, she may not want her kid to have toy guns, you know? I mean, you better, yeah, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And I thought, I tell you, she may not like it, at least the mother anyways, but she said, oh, it's okay. But, okay, Apex, all right? Now, I'm gonna redraw my dart leg. Do you, any of you see my blue dart cluster thing? Yeah, the ruler. Oh, there it is. It was really hid, wasn't it? Okay. This is on page. Um, 103. Okay. Dart leg up to apex. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to do this in red. We're going to draw we need, from the um, bust point or apex, that's what it's called. We're going to go down an inch, but then add an inch to the side. So what you can do is line up your ruler and bring it out an inch along the dart leg, but make it match the point here, okay? But just draw your line an inch below that, okay? Like so. Then you can lower this and square that line right over to the dart, dart point area, okay? So, or if you wanted to, you could like measure an inch down, mark a little dot, then bring the ruler out like that, line it up with the leg, draw up and over, okay? Now we're gonna connect that corner to the apex or the tip of the dart. And it kind of looks like a little pyramid. Well, maybe. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm going to cut out. Now, most of the time, guys, after today, you're all going to be working on your own. Okay? So you're going to be doing the princess seam on your own. You're just going to follow the directions, just kind of like you did for when you did your bodices. I just kind of like to do the first ones just so that you can get the feel of how I want the pattern to be turned in and yada, yada, yada. Also, um, when we get to the collars, I might give a demo because I want them to be done a little different too. I don't want them half. I want them opened and all sorts of stuff. But So at least then when we get to a point and somebody has a question, and I think it's important for all of us to know, you know, I might gather, have you all gather around, especially when we walk the princess seams and things like that. Okay? All right. So now let's cut out the old dart. This line is for placement of our dart tips, but um, we need it there for here in a minute. <coughs> now, I'm going to go ahead and get my scrap paper underneath here now. Because we're gonna need it. And I'm gonna go ahead and thumbtack that here and here, so it won't move on me. Okay, now I'm going to cut the red line, the new design line, and you're gonna cut it up to the point. Boom, okay? Ooh. All right. I can't cut this way. 
I don't usually have to bend it. All right, now I'm gonna scoot this in and then I'm gonna tape the outside edges because I know that needs to be flat. Okay, when you guys are doing your own design dart, a big hint. Another word for this um, technique, it's called flat pattern making. Draping on the form, this is called flat pattern making. I'm emphasizing the word flat, okay? <laughs> because some of you bring, give me your own design bodice and we've got bubbles in it, okay? You've like closed a dart and you didn't release the excess somewhere. So if you turn something in and it's, the pattern's not flat, something's done wrong, okay? So you need to either knock on my office tomorrow or something, okay? So that I know what's going on. And I know it makes it hard. You guys are on a, you've got a Monday, Monday and Wednesday class. All right, so now they tell us in the book on the next page that we're basically going to spread the legs so that it's an even amount, all right? Now, if you want to measure this, you can, okay? But usually I can eye it pretty good. But if you want, oh, don't gun it. Put that back up there. I pulled it too hard, didn't I? I think sometimes the marker makes it wet too, and that'll make it weak. I wanted to move it over a little bit here. All right, like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this back up here. There we go. I'm gonna measure it. If I'm way off, I might switch it. An inch and a half, inch and a half. Ooh, okay, we're pretty good. All right, so now get to taping. It all has to be taped. If you don't, it doesn't, um, you can't true the darts very well, guys. Okay, have you all used a roll of tape yet? Yes. Okay, I told you. Go to the Dollar General store. Like I said, you get a lot for a dollar. Okay. There. And this side. I think we're good now. Let's do this. Okay, good, good, good. Now, what you have to do is you have to lower, rather than putting the apex right here, an inch below, she's having you go a half an inch down from this little line that you drew. So basically where she put the drill holes is right in the middle, a half an inch down for this middle one. So right about there, okay? And these two on the side, she put it next to the dart leg line. So when you're measuring it like this, you're putting one here on that leg, here on that leg, and in the middle. I mean, what does it matter? Could you not put it in the middle of all of them? I don't think it would really matter that much. And to be honest with you, it would be kind of pretty if the, um, the first one was a small dart, the second one was a medium dart, and the third one was a big dart. I might, you might have some different looks by alternating the widths and the, the lengths of it, okay? So, <coughs> then we're gonna redraw our dart legs, and this is the tip of the dart, guys. This isn't the drill hole. The drill hole has to be, uh, um, you know, a half an inch or five eighths of an inch below that, and be careful you're drawing on the tape and um, if you're not careful, it'll run. Okay, that leg's good there, so I'm just gonna draw this one. Okay, so now we're gonna score these. They're all gonna get pressed toward center front. Don't you drop it down yeah, it Thank you. <laughs> well, my drill hole, yeah. I could have put my drill hole after I trued the darts. But I always did put them on there before, didn't I? Yeah. See, that's a way to be forgetful. I'm trying to rush. Okay, there we go. Now, let's score. There. Here and here. Okay. Now, you guys know that um, when you make darts, 
I'm going to need this over here, honey. But you, um, if the darts are really thick, you could possibly cut, um, cut open the dart right in the middle, and then you can press them open. Now that's usually if you're, you've got something lined. I mean, if it's going to, fabric is real ravelly, I don't think you want to do that. I'm actually going to take these because that way it won't move on me. Okay, right there. And let's bring this one over to the other one. These are kind of hard because you've got a whole bunch of them together. Okay. Let's take this here. Okay, I've sure been um, hearing a lot of sniffly noses. Are you guys having allergies or are you getting a cold? Okay, well, I was going to say, if you think you're getting a cold, start taking your vitamin C so you won't have to be missing class because we go over so much. There's just hardly no time for you guys to even be sick, you know? All right. Shoot, we don't even have sick days, do we? I have to make it up if we miss, yeah. Charles told me, I guess since I've like knock on wood, not gotten a cold here lately, he said, well, you've got some, when I missed last Thursday because of my um, chest hurt, he goes, you've got some sick days added up, don't you? And I said, you don't have sick days. What, isn't that long? I go, well, I don't know. <laughs> Probably to a state school, not to a private yeah, one, right? Yeah, private, okay. probably not. Watch your scene here, guys. You see how that is um, sticking down? You're going to notice that a lot. Don't cut that off, okay? I think what I would do, I myself as a pattern maker, I think I would match it to that. Yeah, come over here and look. And then match this one to there. And then when the sample maker sewed it up, and when we fit it on the person, if it was a little bit big here, then I would go back and alter it the second time. But I would rather you have it on there than um, not, okay? So now we're going to cut this, and we should be good. Now be careful. You've got a lot of dart legs down here. And I don't ever notch the middle of darts, or for that matter, I usually never did notch the middle of pleats either, because it, you get too mixed up when you're folding it. So that dart leg, this dart leg, you're going to cut the entire thing out, go and notch it. This dart leg, that dart leg, this one, and that one, okay? And circle your drills. Dart cluster, okay? Now. Like I said, look in your book for your own design, but please draw your little flat sketch over here. It doesn't have to be big. I just want to know what I'm looking at, okay? And then um, also, I think that's it, right? <laughs>